and here's what's happening at Utopia Farms today. Today we're wrapping bales. Oh, you look lovely. They don't want to touch this because it smells different. There's like, plenty of room for you to slither out of there. Creep feed. Creep feeder. Little mister. They've chosen a gladiator son. I think it's right on the money for uh, for wrapping. Better management, more knowledge, uh, you're doing a lot better job. Let's get started. Today Arnie's bringing the last of the bales home and we're going to wrap the bales. We got a whole slew of them lined up again. Um, but this is the last of that hay field. Um, maybe if all works out right, we may be raking the next field that he started on. We've got rain coming in a few days, so if it dries well, we may as well keep on going while we can. And last night, Arnie stacked up a whole bunch more wrapped hay, the second cut stuff. This, it was this stuff that was wrapped and he was going to finish it last night but as luck would have it his lights weren't working on the tractor so he couldn't see anymore in the field and he couldn't drive the tractor home either on the road because uh, yeah that was an accident waiting to happen so this morning he went and picked up the last load and he's going to work on this today. Hey buddies. Hey. Today, uh, running um, running the air around the corn bin. Uh, run the air probably once every 10 days, just to be sure it doesn't act up that it's vented out. Uh, hydro's a good rate on Sunday. So run the fan all day today. Uh, might run it in in the evening and shut it off in the morning just to be sure there's about 75 ton of corn in that yet so I don't want any problems and uh, today we're wrapping bales and uh, I'm gonna get done this I got a few more here to do and then I'm gonna run to the field because we did mow hay yesterday at 4 o'clock right now it's 1 o'clock the next day uh, there's a good possibility that I can be raked up before it gets too dry it's drying extremely hard right now. So that's what we're doing today. So I gotta get cracking. And um, I got noticed yesterday that Aiden was released. He got sent home. So my intentions today with Aiden are to um, go to the grocery store and make him a little care package. He's the cook in the house and nobody else helps him out at all. So. There's a few items that while he was in the hospital, he said he was craving and wanted to have. So I'm gonna go pick him up a bunch of stuff. Um, he's still feeling really weak. It was, uh, he said he struggled getting from his room to the car. So yeah, it's gonna probably take a few more weeks of just recovery, building his uh, lung capacity and muscle strength back up, but he's home. So, Fingers crossed he doesn't relapse and have more problems, but that's a really good thing. Well, Arnie's unloading the hay. I'm gonna feed some of these guys their bottles, namely uh, Spartacus here. And I gotta go get Little Mister because every day he goes under the feeder and every day he can't get out without a tug. I don't know why he goes under there. And I don't know why he can't get out. Everyone else can. Oh, you look lovely. Don't you look like a showstopper. My goodness. All the other sheep are going to be so jealous of you. You look lovely. Yeah. Little mister. Come on. See, you can, I don't know if you can hear him crying in the background. Little mister, come on. <sighs> this is a really annoying habit. And I've switched um, from Grober to a different brand of milk replacer because that's all they had. And see that? They don't want to touch this because it smells different. Like how can they tell? But they can. <laughs> Little mister. Come 
sister. Come on out of there. Come on. There's plenty of room for you to slither out of there. God, you're high maintenance. He really had no problem getting out of there. He's, he, he, he's just, um, he wants to be babied about everything. He needs help with everything. But you look nice. Look at that fancy haircut you have. Aren't you special? Too special. More special than you should be. But he's getting a lot better. And here's the lambs eating at the feed trough. And I got a follower here. He's wanting to have a trimming. Once you start trimming them, they like it, so then they follow you around. But there we are. See that? Creep feed. Creep feeder. Little mister. Eating. Finally. Hi. You, you really want a trimming because you're looking real handsome. Yeah. You're, you're looking real handsome now. We're going to get you done. Okay. One of our viewers has come down here all the way from Ingersoll, Ontario, which is easily a good four hour drive away, maybe more. Um, they've chosen a gladiator son, so we're gonna go load them up. <gasps> okay, watch it when you unload them. He might run out. <laughs> yeah, so we can't jump over. I'm gonna be fine. I shouldn't say nothing. He's gonna get introduced to a donkey. Okay, we forgot to film him um, getting loaded and stuff. But what we're going to do is, she follows us on Instagram, so she's going to post some pictures and then uh, we'll get some pictures of him at his new home. He's actually a, a really, really nice one. There they go. Poor guy. He'll be happy there. That's a really good home. He's going to get one-on-one -on -one attention and they are also an indoor-outdoor farm, so... Um, He'll be used to all that. We got a beautiful gift from them. I feel really bad. Um, it's a blanket made from the wool of their sheep, which is, uh, yeah, a extremely nice gift. I can't believe how nice people are. I'm gonna lock all these gates and shoots up again and let you guys outside. Would you like to go outside? So we just, um, uh, my, if you follow my videos, we were cutting this 24 hours ago. It actually is a little dampy, but uh, we're going to bail it up, hopefully tonight. It's, right now it's four o'clock, so I don't know how much time I'm gonna have. But yeah, I'll just show you, there it is there. See, that's pretty moist. Well, not moist, it's, not, it's, it's warm. But it, it definitely couldn't go into a dry bale. I think it's right on the money for uh, for wrapping. So, on on top of this hill, there's a little more grasses for some reason. And when you get way down the field down there, it's actually a lot more alfalfa. So, I'm going to get going. Cross my fingers that we don't have a breakdown. And we're making really good time. So, what I did here was... I mowed down the whole section of the field that was ready to go. The center section over there, in the spring, we had about seven or ten days with rain. So that's about a week later. Uh, there's bad weather coming in, so I'm going to concentrate on this piece. And when I read the weather in a day or two, I'll see if I can go farther with that piece. This is about half the field down. So. Uh, I'll have my hands full because we're actually, uh, it takes me about uh, 20 minutes to go home on the road with the tractors. So uh, I'm a little away from home, takes a little more time. But I'm going to get this raked up real quick. I'm going to quit talking 
And I hope you're all having a good day because I'm hand. Talk to you later. problems when the sun goes down but uh, it's a nice feel to be bailing hay on yeah, it's just telling me I have a full bail nice crop of hay so I'm trying to hang on to the phone and drive all and do everything at the same time so it's a little difficult but yeah it's a beautiful crop I, uh, I didn't I never had these crops of hay when I was younger but better management more knowledge you uh, you're doing a lot better job So I gotta drive three times around the whole field and then we start going up and down. So Yeah, my bailer is not that big, so I can't drive that fast. A few people on the YouTube are looking at me and say, gee, you're in here, kind of moving like a snail. But it's actually quite a thought of hay. So you can hear the beeper again, it's putting a lot of bales out. And if I push the bailer too hard, I'll for, be sure I'll get in trouble. There's another bail. So, I'm going to keep going as long as possible. And then, uh, if I get in too late, uh, Lynn's going to pick me up. And we're going to leave the tractor in the field tonight. And I'll finish bailing in the morning. But i got about two hours, so I think I'm going to get a big piece of it done. Well, it's late, uh, it's after, uh, it's 8.30. Yeah, those bales are hard. So, I'm going to call that a night. Lynn's going to pick me up. And... I just coughed out 83 bales. Got seven rolls to do in the morning. And bring some twine with me. So we're gonna head home, I guess. There she is. Nice car, Lynn. Nice sun. Nice car. Yeah, Forget I, that. Look I, at that. Ashley, you know what that is? It's a blood sun. Oh, is that doesn't show up red. No. No, look. Huh? Well, they say they say that uh, they say that the uh, rays should be coming over the uh, uh, land, but the smoke is keeping the rays from coming over. How am I gonna get that to show red? That's mm -hmm. a bright red sun. Yeah. Let me try with my camera here. 
See, look at what it looks like on the camera. Well, you must have got the same thing, right? Sure. I got a photo of it where my camera lets me take the red and it looks bright red but it isn't that like how do I get that to show orange let's see it's not orange let's see where is it yeah. that's not orange that's white well I'm going to guess it was, uh, yeah. as orange as we can get it. That's unfortunate. I really thought we were going to have a great photo op with that sun. It's bright, bright orange. So we're going to take my photo and you're going to see that's what we were seeing. But the camera does not pick that up. But it picks up the purple flowers. No bees. No bees. Listen to how peaceful it is. Oh, look. You can see the red reflection of the sun in the, in the tractor, maybe. So Arnie's been making hay all day, but it's starting to get dark, so he's calling that a day. And while he was doing that, I was doing gardening, got the lawn all mowed and did some more weeding. Look at the gardens this year though. My goodness, they're so pretty. This is a little pathway at the side of our house into the backyard. As you can see, I like the jungle look. So, our yard kind of looks like Welcome to the Jungle. And we got a little Wren family in here. They got a really cool jungle abode. I think they like it too. You can just hear them cheeping. Right now, the front of the yard out there looks like an industrial zone with all the tra uh, tractors, trailers, skid steers, wagons, rakes, mowers. But if you come into the backyard, it's like a little oasis. Right now, the mosquitoes aren't out, so it's bearable. A lot of the flowers have um, bloomed and gone, so uh, it's nice to have the canna lilies which add some nice bright color. The red ones and the phlox are always bright, um, but a lot of them have disappeared. And I gotta trim back some of the hosta things here. But uh, we'll get around to that. Maybe tomorrow I'll get that done. That's our little sun porch back there. Which, like I told you in another video, it's now our shade porch. I really like it back in there. It's kind of like a hidden oasis back there. And then we have a place where you can have a coffee here and or a tea or an iced tea and look out at the fields here and 
And right now you can see that most of the sheep are in the field, the adult ones. I can see a few of the little lambs are just starting to come out now. There's the one whose head I was trimming off. <laughs> that group, they're all super friendly in that group because they're the stragglers. So because they're stragglers, they get more attention, like more one-on-one -on -one time because when all the rest of the sheep are born at the proper time, it's super busy and we don't have any time to be playing with the sheep. Actually, those are some of the lambs too that have gone out farther there. They're on this side of the fence. And I'm done for tonight. So I got a little air in that corn bin. We're probably going to run that all night. Um, because the hydro rates are cheaper at night. And then tomorrow morning we'll shut it off. And it'll be good again for another 10 days, 2 weeks. And, uh, just check it again. It wasn't acting up. I just want to be sure that it's ventilated out that there's no problems with it. So, that's my pile of hay. I guess we're gonna call that a night. And tomorrow uh, we're back, uh, finish around baling on that other farm. And get those, there'll be over a hundred bales to get home and get them wrapped up and we'll see you in the morning Thank you.